What's the name of your bus? New Road Travelling Tours. New Road Travelling Tours. New Road to Declan. Luckily, Kieran's been okay. It was probably the most bumpiest bus journey I've ever been on. Hey, I'm Kieran, and this is my better half, Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go travelling full time. This is our Nepal series. Good morning from Kathmandu for the final time. We're just on our way to the bus station as we're heading to Pokhara today. It's just after 6am so it's an early start but we do have our tickets already. We were a bit concerned with it being so early and we didn't know what the situation would be like at the bus stand. So we've got our tickets and I can imagine it'll be pretty hectic. So we've made it to all the buses. It is just the case of finding the one we booked with. So it's called New Road Travel and Tours. So we'll have a little look. What's the name of your bus? What's the name of your bus? New Road Travel and Tours. New Road to Declan. Down there, thank you. Have a stay. So he's directed us, which is pretty good. Was. New road travel and tours? Yeah, this one. Definitely? Yeah, okay, thank you. Done your bag, Nama. Okay, so we found our bus. Um, I'm just gonna check on the side just to make sure. But uh, he says it's this one, so let's just have a look. I think I'm about to yeah, it is. New Road Travel and Tours. So we've been going for just over an hour now and we've took our first break. The journey can take between six to eight hours and I can understand why already because the roads they're not developed at all, they're super bumpy. Um, and yeah, you can imagine the bus is like flying up and down and I'm really car sick. So yeah, I can imagine this is gonna be a long six to eight hours. So it's just gone 10 o'clock with three hours into our journey and I've just had a look on the map. On Google Maps, it still says we've got over four hours to go. So I think six hours is very optimistic on a bus. So pit stop number three, and I forgot how long we've been going for now, and that was definitely the bumpiest part of the journey and really dusty as well. I just imagined me being on a scooter driving that. But uh, yeah, I guess we're getting a bit closer. I'm surprised I wasn't feeling ill, but I'm just so excited to get there now. Right guys, we've been going for seven hours. We've still got about three hours to go. We've just stopped for lunch. We've got 40 minutes break, so we're going to go grab some lunch now. But yeah, it's getting really, really tough. The roads are just so bumpy and yeah, luckily Kieran's been okay. But yeah, three more hours to go and then we'll be there. Where you going? So we've got about 40 minutes for lunch and I've just got some food. So I've got the chow mein, as you can see here, with some salad. Now, this was 150 rupees. I did read a few reviews saying that you will pay a bit more here, but I think it's fairly reasonable. You could get the curry set for 300, but I didn't fancy curry considering we've still got a two hours to go. So chow mein it is. Is it good? Hmm. First time I've had it for a, a long time because I don't tend to ever get this back home. But it's really nice, yeah. Yeah, we're actually sharing because I'm not too hungry. But let me try as well. Oh, bye. So we just bought some snacks. So I went for a Kit Kat and these crisps. I love these. In Sri Lanka, there was no good crisps. So to see good crisps makes me really happy. What you got, Kieran? And I went for an ice cream because it's actually 33 degrees here, so it's pretty warm. So I took an ice cream to cool me down. Back on the bus we go! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> the lovely bus. All right, we come in. Oh, 
on your body. Hello. Hello. So nine and comfortable hours later and we have finally made it to Pokhara. What did you make of the journey, Maddie? Yeah, finally. It was it was really tough. Um, yeah, it was really tough. It wasn't the most comfortable bus. Also, an hour before, um, before Pokhara, it started to rain quite heavily. And it's been raining here, so I guess it gives me, it gives me excuse to go back to the hotel and have a rest. I think she's being very generous when she says it wasn't too bad. It was probably the most bumpiest bus journey I've ever been on. But we're glad to be here now. So we're gonna head back to our hotel. We might have to get a taxi as it says it's about half an hour away, uh, but we'll see. So we've just made it to our accommodation here in Pakora. We ended up walking. It took us about just over 30 minutes. We were going to look for a taxi, but none turned up. But I guess we need the exercise after uh, the long bus journey today. But I'll show you our room. They've even gave us a private tour guide to show you around. Here she is. Very funny, Kieran. <laughs> right, we got two beds. One for Kieran, big one for me. Hmm. Questionable. Got... No. Um, yeah, we've got a little seating area, and then we've got a little cupboard, nice mirror there. And I've not actually seen the bathroom, but yeah, this is the bathroom. Let me just move out of the way, sorry. Yeah, not bad at all. Very it's, nice. It's like a little wooden cabin, so uh, I'll show you it from the outside. It's super cute. Very nice. So we are here for two nights and we paid £15. So we've just came to the lakeside of Pakora and it is very different to Kathmandu. It's a lot more chilled, laid back and I'm a big fan of the nature and this is a beautiful lake. Few restaurants around so yeah, first impressions, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really beautiful. We've got so many things to sort out. We are hoping to start trekking in two days time and we still need to find a guide. We need to hire a couple of things for the hike. Uh, possibly buy a couple more things and we need to get all of everything in place to make sure we actually can hike like the permits and stuff so we're gonna have a couple <laughs> couple busy days well i mean today and tomorrow to get everything sorted so we stopped at the street food place and the only vegetarian option they had was potatoes and i can't complain i really really love potatoes it's really hot i don't know what's best to eat it And I went for a local dish, so I've gone for like a pastry. It's, uh, I forget the name, she did tell me it, but it's got chicken inside, it's a street food snack. So I'm gonna give it a try. She also gave me like a, I think it's like a chili, uh, chili dip. So I'm give it a go with that. Mm. The sauce. Ah. Wow, the sauce is very lemongrassy. You wouldn't like this, Maddie. But um, the pastry is nice. It's got a very typical Nepalese taste. Um, a bit lemongrassy, but nice, yeah. Like Chinese sort of um, flavours. Right, we've been walking around many, many shops and many tourist, what they call tourist shops, trying to figure trekking out shops. trekking shops, yeah. So we found a place to rent our stuff for our track, but we just need to figure out what we're going to do about um, guide or are we going to take a package out? What do you think, Kieran? Well, I, I've said to Maddie, I think we should just take the guide. He showed us a package of everything included, so guide, transport, accommodation. But I said, look, if, if we do everything, they're going to make a commission on each point. So if we source the accommodation, uh, the transport ourselves, at least we, ne we know we're not going to be paying a commission on top. So I personally think to just take the guide, um, hire all the stuff like we've, we've discussed and then, you know, find accommodation, find food, uh, find transport ourselves. But yeah, we've got to make that decision pretty quick because we need to uh, book something in for tomorrow. Yeah, for me, it's more like the case that I like the security and for me, like to have that security, I don't mind paying a little bit extra because then I know, like yeah. I have the security that it's gonna happen and we have a place to stay and 
after hiking for six, seven hours, last thing I want to do is like having to go and asking like barter for a price to stay. Yeah. So yeah, no, we just I need to make saying. a decision. And so after all that shopping, we found a nice local restaurant to eat some food. So we've ordered some chicken momos, potatoes, and Maddie went for some chow mein. So we're super hungry now, and we're looking forward to the food coming. And the much-needed Nepali gorka. Mm. It's really good. Really good, thank you. Mm. It's really good actually. So as you can see, I have gone for the momos once more. I can't stay away from these things. So I've gone for the fried chicken ones and I've just counted and I've got 11. So already a good start because I ordered 10 pieces. Let's give them a try. I've got like the chili sauce. I love that sauce. Mm. These are good ones. Mm. And we also got potatoes. So we've made it back to our accommodation. We enjoyed a nice walk along the lakefront. We even experienced some live music, which was pretty cool. So we're super excited to explore more of Pakora, but you'll have to wait until after the Annapurna trek as we are leaving for that very soon. So we're so excited. It's probably one of the biggest challenges of our life. So make sure you are subscribed and we will see you in the next one. Three, two, one, namaste, namaste for now. Bye.